Hi there, my name is Jordi from Cinecam.net and recently I've collaborated with Adobe on a short film called Routine, in which the entire short film plays back through the eyes of the character. And if you're familiar with my work, you know that I love some simple visual effects, just like the floating knife and fork as seen in my film. And this is created using the 3D camera tracker, an option that you can find in the tracker window. If you can't locate it, then you can enable it from the window menu. When you've got a selected clip in your composition, you could already go ahead and just click the track camera button. In the background, now After Effects will calculate the movements of your actual camera, so you're gonna need a lot of structure and contrast in your shots, just like I have with the plates and the surrounding in front of me. So once the tracker is done, you'll find various color markers in your shots. These are points in space that we can use. First, I'd like to set an origin, because if I would place a fork or something else in that space, where should it go? Well, we can select one of the points or a group or find a plane between several points. As you can see, I'm looking for something that matches with the perspective of the table. When you find something, right click and choose set ground place and origin. We can now go ahead and jump into the effects controls and from the 3D camera tracker effects, click on create camera. Now this will add a virtual camera to your composition that represents the exact movements of the real camera. So what we can do now is insert a new layer into the composition, such as a picture of a knife that I took as well. Now using the pen tool from the toolbox, I mask out around the knife. And now it's very simple. You just enable 3D from the layer options and the knife places itself in the 3D environment. Now selecting that layer allows you to move the knife to the position you want using the X, Y and Z levers. Now doing it with the fork works exactly the same, of course. Now I also added some kind of a flotation to the fork and knife, and this can be done by animating the position property, which now also has a Z axis. When you alt click on the animation stopwatch, you could insert some code to automate an animation. And this one here is actually very simple. Type in wiggle, then open brackets, and then comes the speed value, which I'm gonna set to 0.1, very slow comma, then the amount it can wiggle around, which I'm gonna set to 20, and then close the brackets. And that's it. Now to finalize the effect, I'm also going to enable the motion blur for the knife and fork layer. Make sure to also enable the global motion blur from the button on the top of your timeline. And now as you move around your camera, your fork and knife float on the position that you've chosen, and there's a natural motion blur on them. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you'd like, you can check out more tutorials from my short film through the link in the description below.